that are really important about I-9. Um, I-9 aims to really increase by a lot the standard support in the IE web browser. So I-9 on the desktop has very good support for HTML5, great CSS support, uh, it's, uh, that includes SVG, Canvas, uh, it, it scores really well in all these standards benchmarks, and that's worth you going and taking a look at on your own. Um, and then in addition to those, it does it in a unique way by taking advantage of the graphics hardware on the PC, and as you'll see in a minute, on the phone as well. So when we render those HTML5 sites, we use the graphics hardware to give really smooth frame rates and a great experience. So what I'm going to do is switch over and show you i9 running on a Windows 7, Windows phone device here. Uh, so this is the Fish IE page. This is this uh, website is part of the i9 test drive. So if you've downloaded i9 on your PC and you've looked at all these HTML5 sites, this is one of the examples. And the way this works actually is the core browsing engine software for i9 that our team has been building for the PC we've actually been building simultaneously for the PC and the phone. So the same code is running in both places. For consumers, that means you're going to get a very compatible experience. And for developers, it means that you don't have to separately worry about nuances in the way you author websites. When you author a website for the PC and test it on the PC, it's going to look great on the phone as well. Uh, now what I want to do is give you a, uh, an example of how this performance compares to uh, some other mobile browsers. So this is i9 with hardware acceleration, uh, Windows Phone 7, and this is the same web page on an iPhone 4. This is the current iPhone 4 with Safari. And you can see here's 50 fish swimming smoothly, everything's laid out nicely, and there the Safari browser without hardware acceleration can't produce the same smooth high frame rate that Windows Phone 7 does with i9 with hardware acceleration. And the reason this is meaningful is that as web authors take more and more advantage of the standards-based HTML5 to build very rich app-like sites, um, the i9 browser will do a great job of rendering that in a way that's smooth, has good frame rates, and really feels um, like a rich app to those users. Um, I'm going to give you one other example here and browse over to another site that we've had on the i9 test drive. Um, and that's, this is a sample IMDB site. So again, this is HTML5, and I can browse between movies in our IMDB site here. And you can see it's really smooth and interactive. The frame rate is good. I can touch this little play button, and it'll go into a kind of an automatic carousel. Um, I can press pause, pan through these a little bit more. And then the other thing that's interesting about IE9 is it supports the standard well. And one part of the standard that's interesting is the video tag, which means web authors can put video on their sites without needing to rely on having a plugin installed. So in this example, if our connectivity is solid enough, I'll be able to touch here and play the trailer from this movie. So this is the video tag, and when I touch it, we're going to start streaming high definition H.264 video from the website right onto the phone. You can see video plays really nicely. It looks very high quality. Um, and of course, I have transport controls for doing things like skipping and pausing and so on. So the, the standard support in i9 really fills out the experience for websites as well for things like videos.